Hi, I'm John Sarton with the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech Team, here today to show you how to change the hoses on your little torch. There are several reasons that you might need to change the hoses on your little torch. Uh, one would be age. Over time, the uh, hoses will get brittle. They will, uh, they will start to dry out and wear out and start to develop leaks. Another reason is they could be stepped on. They could be rolled over with a caster of a chair. They could be pinched somehow or pulled. And uh, all of these things will definitely develop leaks and you will have to change your, your hoses to, to continue to use your torch. So let's begin with the tools and equipment that you're going to need to change the hoses on your little torch. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a kit of hoses. Um, the kit comes with an oxygen hose, a fuel hose. Um, the hoses have the 9 B fittings attached to one end. These are the fittings that will attach to your regulators. And also it comes with an end that has nothing at all attached to it. And this is where you're going to attach your torch to. It comes with what's called a ferrule tool, and it comes with these two little tubes called ferrules. The ferrules are brass tubes, and this is what's used to actually hold the hoses onto the torch. And there's a feature to these ferrules that I need to point out to you. Um, it's really hard to see under the magnification that I have here, but um, if you see right there, there's a little shiny spot. And that is actually a chamfer on one end of these ferrules. You can see that if you look at both ends, there's one end that has a thinner wall, and that is a chamfered side. And the other end doesn't have a chamfer, so it has a thicker wall. Now, this is really important, and this is something that I'll talk about here in a little while. But just keep in mind that there are, there is a correct side and an incorrect side on the ferrules. The other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a hammer and you're going to need a socket. And this socket needs to fit over your torch tube and just rest on the top of the valve assembly of the torch. So it needs to fit like so. All right. The other thing that we're going to need is a bench vise. And now let's go to the bench vise and install some hoses. So the first thing we need to do is disassemble the torch handle. You uh, do that very easily. You grab a hold of the top of the torch here, you grab a hold of the black handle, and you turn it counterclockwise. And go ahead and screw that off, and then just let it slide down the hoses, get it out of the way. This is going to reveal your torch tubes and also it's going to get you a little bit more access to your hoses and your ferrules. Now, remember the ferrule tool that I told you about. This ferrule tool gets clamped into a bench vise like so. And what this ferrule tool is going to do is going to help us to pull the ferrules off of the torch hand, uh, hoses. These ferrules are not crimped on here. This is just a friction fit. And sometimes they'll release easy, like that one did. And sometimes they're really hard. But both of them actually release fairly easy. Don't be surprised if you have to give it a little bit of umph to get the, uh, the ferrule off of there. So now that we have those off, now it's going to be removing the torch, it's the torch hose itself from the tubes. You can try to pull on it but it depends on how, <clears throat> how hard they are on there, how long they've been on there. They might just crumble here. They might, uh, they might come right off. But if you have a trouble getting these off, you want to go ahead and just soak them in some hot tap water. So you just want to put them in there, let it soak for, say, 10, 15 minutes. And what this will do is it'll actually soften the hoses up and it'll allow the hoses to come off a little easier. If you still have trouble pulling these off, there's a little trick that you can do. Take some flat nose pliers and you just want to grab a hold of the hose itself and you want to pull on it a little bit. What this does is it helps stretch that, that rubber. You're not grabbing a hold of the tube, you're just grabbing a hold of the hose. 
this should allow it to pop off a little easier. Okay, let me work on this one here. This one's probably going to be a little bit harder to pull off. Hey, there we go. So your hoses are off your tubes. So the first thing you want to do is off of your old hoses, just go ahead and pull the old ferrules off and set those aside. You don't want to mix those up with your new ones. And also take your handle off. Okay. And you want to make sure that you put your handle on right now. Make sure that the knurled edge is up towards the torch itself because that's where the threads are. If you put it on backwards, it will not thread onto your your torch itself. So let's put those in first. Okay. Move that down a little bit. And then we want to go ahead and install the ferrules. Now remember I told you about the ferrules. There was one edge or one end of the ferrule that was chamfered and the other end that wasn't. And you want to go ahead and put the chamfer up. Let's put that on that one. And let's go ahead and put this one on this one. And just kind of run those down. All right. Now we're ready to put the hoses onto the torch tubes. All right. Uh, one thing that you can do to make it a little bit easier is actually go ahead and soak the ends in uh, hot tap water just for a few minutes. Uh, it doesn't need to be very long. This will kind of soften the, the plastic up a little bit. It'll also provide a little bit of lubrication, so it'll be easier to push the hose onto the torch tubes. Make sure you get all the water out of that. And then you're going to take it and remember, you've got a red hose. This is your fuel hose. So you see the red knob here. This is your fuel knob, and that's what this tube is for. So you're going to put your red hose on this side, and you want to push it up until the hose reaches that spot right there. You can see that there's a shiny spot here and then a dull spot. You want to push them up until it reaches that spot. Do the same thing with this one. This might take a little bit of doing, but just be patient, work with it a bit, and you'll get it. All right. Now go ahead and run the ferrules up to the top here. You only want to do one at a time, um, and I'll show you why. So remember the ferrule tool, this little guy. This is what we're going to actually use to install the ferrules as well. Now the way this works is you slip your ferrule tool over your hose, like so, and you're going to bring it up to the bottom of that ferrule. Now open up your vise so that your hoses will just drop in, but that that tool is supported on both sides by the top of the vise. Okay? And this is where the socket comes in. So the socket is going to be used over the top of your torch valve assembly. And this is what you're going to tap because you don't want to just tap on this or you'll destroy your torch. So you just do this and you start tapping. Just until you start to feel a snug resistance. Doesn't need to go any further than that. Okay? So that's one. Now, the reason I do one at a time is if you try to do both of them at the same time, you're going to run into trouble driving one up and not the other. So let's just do one at a time. We'll turn this around, put it on the fuel line, stick it back in to the vise, socket. And bring that down to about the same as your oxygen. Okay, so now the only thing you have to do is reassemble the torch, and reassembling it is pretty easy. You come down here, you get your black handle, and you 
screw it up just like so. However, we want to test this prior to putting this on, just in case we have to take it off and tighten these up or whatever it may be. One way of doing that is actually go ahead and uh, put your torch onto your regulators, pressurize your lines just like as if you were going to use your torch, and put it into water. If it is leaking here, you will see bubbles. So this is kind of the same thing as uh, trying to find the, uh, the hole in your inner tube on your, on your bike tire. You can utilize that for the entire hose as well. If you have a suspect hose, you can just dip the hose into a bucket of water. It'll act the same way. Then go ahead and assemble your torch. Screw that down tight and you're ready to start soldering again. So I hope that you found this information helpful. And if you have any questions, contact us. Mm -hmm.